Desperados 3 is a brand new story driven hardcore tactical stealth RTS set in the Wild West. This game released on Steam on the 17th of June 2020 and has already received a very positive reception from early reviews. In this game you play as Cooper, a gunslinger and natural leader who can kill quietly with a knife or take out multiple enemies with his revolvers. As you progress through the game though you'll have to control and work together with other characters each of which have their own unique skill sets if you want to succeed. Succeed. The levels in Desperados 3 are designed in a way where there's multiple paths for success. You can go in guns blazing or take a more stealthy approach, it's up to you. Before we jump into my first impressions though, this video is sponsored by the developers of the game and done from the point of view of someone that's not overly experienced with RTS games, but if you like what you see then click the link in the description below to buy the game. Desperados 3, it's been a long time since I've played a western game. Four different difficulty options, beginner, normal, Normal, Hard or Desperado, I'm just going to go with Normal. Four different options for the dialogue, English, German, Russian and Chinese. I think this is my character. So I can scroll in a little bit, it looks like I'm a teenager at the moment. Straight away, very responsive, as soon as I click he's moving in that direction. Two ways of moving the camera, you can move the middle mouse button or you can use the arrow keys. I'm going to go with the middle mouse button. To crouch we press spacebar, so the game's teaching me about the various stealth mechanics right now. So if I want to display someone's view clone, I just right click on them. We should jump off over here. Can we do that? We can. So we can throw coins to distract enemies. Let's give it a try. Oh, that's cool. You can actually rotate the camera as well if you hold alt and then move the mouse. Throw it over here. Ah, oh, there it is. Now we need to run over here. My dad's just threw a knife in his neck. And now he's hid the body in the bushes. Throw a coin at the horse. Then we press Enter to execute. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just got knocked the fuck out. For an RTS, it's a really good looking game. Run over here, climb the vines, interact with the ladder, chuck it down to dad. The tutorial so far has been really good. I'm gonna go here, throw this coin over here, now climb the ladder. Nice. It's about to be a shootout going by the looks of it. I need to jump across here now. Let's throw the coin behind this guy. He's gonna turn around. Dad's gonna take out this person. We're gonna jump down, then go in the bush. Nice. Control, click. Then we're gonna drag him in the bush. Oh no! You can't see me, I'm in a bush. Oh my dad's dead, oh my god. Throw the coin. Distract you, get in the bush. Run over here, climb up here. If I press H, that means I can highlight interactable objects. Drop this on their heads, nice. Now open the hatch for dad. So dad's gonna leave. Let me guess, he's not gonna come back. See you later dad. I hope it's not the last time I'm gonna see you. Pretty cool start to the game. Oh, they're robbing a train. Full scale war for this train. There's really not enough western games made these days, are there? Oh, okay. Oh, that's my character, he's grown up. He's now able to use the knife. Backstab an enemy if you want to. Nice. This is a cool game. To be honest, I don't play enough games where I actually need to use my brain. Now I need to use my gun. F. G. Nice. What can I do here? One. Two. Okay. Execute. Nice. I'd say you owe me one. Oh, come on, dude. I've just saved you. That's not cool. Oh. I'd say we're even now. I love the old western accents. Oh my god, I get to control two characters at once? This game's gonna have a lot of depth to it, I can already tell. Oh for fuck. It's a good thing I saved it, isn't it? So this new character can throw his bag and use it as bait. Oh god. Well we stabbed him. We're taking some gunshots though. Throw a knife. That was a bit scuffed. Snipe this guy. Right in the head. Let the ladder down. This guy can go up the ladder. He can't climb up these bushes because he's too old. Control Cooper. Knife him in the back. Beautiful. Put him in the bush. Throw my knife at her. This game's taking every bit of brain power that I have. Don't move. I'm sure the answer to this is very simple. I just can't figure it out. I see you, asshole. Throw the bag here now. 
do this. Kill him. That took me a solid five minutes to figure that one out. For this, I guess I can just take this guy out. Let's go. Nice. Take this one out quickly. Louis, what? 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 Oh my god, it's a disaster. I should have hid the bloody corpses. No, dude, you can't see me. I'm in a bush. A few inches later. <laughs> I'm gonna be so proud of myself if I do this level. It's taken me so long. Come on, lads. Together. I want you to knife him. I want you to throw a dagger at him. Go. Nice. This guy's patrolling. So let's wait and kill the patrol. We've got a chest over here. It's got three bullets in it. Perfect. And we're both going to grab these bodies. Quick! Quick! Oh my... I completely ignored the big obvious boulder that wants to be pushed down. Wait, I could have done that better. I could have got all three, I think. So now I can kill you. Push this on here. This should kill all three. Yes! Beautiful. Put you in the bush. Okay, I kind of want to just get right around the back and kill this lookout. Quick! Fuck me. Execute. Good luck. Perfect timing. Walk up and take you out. The more you take out, the easier it becomes. So you've got less people with eyes on you. Walk up here, stab you in the back. This game feels like a real IQ test at times. So now we just put the dynamite over here. Throw it. Th Wait, what? Oh, throw. Oh, beautiful. I almost held onto that dynamite for too long. Oh god, they're just- they're actively chasing me now. And that should just kill three of them. Yes. That was cool. And then, run over here. Throw the dagger. Got him. Oh, there's more?! Why is there more?! They're still waiting for me. They're still patrolling. Like that mission must have taken me about 50 minutes. That Relax. was bloody hard. Nice working with your partner. How do we do? Oh, there was one civilian I didn't save. I could have killed 10 bandits with dynamite. This plots the path that I took and shows where I died. And at the end of a mission, you can save your replay as well. Completion time, 49 minutes for one mission. On to the next mission, Troublemakers in Flagstone. I guess we're gonna have to rescue this town from these guys. Bloody hell, we couldn't even enjoy our drink for five minutes. So for this mission, I need to go through the town and take out key targets. Let's get to it. Seems as though this mission's gonna be a lot less linear than the previous one. So with Hector, I can lay a trap. Whistle. Oh, that's brutal. I got lots of these. Here goes. Nice. Got two at once there. And a simple knife to the... Oh my god! So, Hector specializes in taking out strong enemies in one hit. So... Come on! Got him. Apparently wearing a long coat gives you more health. So now I'm entering what's called a civil zone. And here, as long as I don't act suspicious, I can move around undetected. Think, Craig. Think. Quick. I'm gonna do this quickly. Oh! Down, down, now. Got him. Grab this guy. Move! Oh, put him out of line of sight! This game's hard, but it's bloody engaging. Get ready. Okay. Hello? There it is. Chop his head off. This game really gets the heart racing, not knowing if you're gonna get caught. There's a target in here, apparently. Looks like there's a way in out the back. We got a little strip tease going on in here, have we? Give your meat a good old rub. Control man number two. Get in the. B sit. Throw the knife. Okay, hide in the bush. It takes them about 10 seconds to get over the fact that there's been a murder and then they go back to their normal everyday business. This one. Quick! Axe! Yes! I'm getting better at this game. I'm playing it a little bit faster now. Open the door and insta dagger. Kill him. Get him out. Stab you. Stab! Stab and grab. Throw the coin. Stab in the back. Throw this. Stab. And then throw the dagger at him. No, don't come to check! Beat him up! 
Oh my god, brilliant. That's worked out well. Throw the coin. Hector, open the door. Chop her up. Yes! That was good. We didn't alert anyone that time. The perfect crime. I think I can just kill this guy now as soon as he turns his back. There's no one's, no one's got eyes on him. Nice. Another target down. Next target is going to be the hardest target, I reckon, because this guy is just constantly walking around with two other people. So I suppose what I need to do is go here. Take this one out quickly. Can we get a way of killing this guy? Let's give it a try. Okay. Quickly run inside. Quickly run inside. Oh, no, 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 no. Shizer. Perfect. So now I suppose the question is, what is the best approach to kill these men? All right, let's see if this works. I doubt it, but we can try. Go. So that's those two dead. He's getting axed in the head. I don't think anyone cares. I've just killed those people. I think I'm done. Oh, wait. No, don't go in that area. Stop. 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 Bring them together over here. Save game. And that's the end of the second mission. I reckon that took me another 40 or 50 minutes as well. I completed the mission, but apparently I did pretty bad. I didn't get any of the badges. I didn't bury Josh. Apparently it's possible to do this mission in seven minutes. And apparently you can kill all three mission targets at the same time. After I complete a mission, I feel really clever and a great sense of achievement. But at the end of a mission, when it tells me all of the achievements and bonus rewards you can get, then I just feel stupid. Completion time, one hour, three minutes. Oh my God, and it was possible apparently to do it in under seven minutes. Mind blown. So after playing Desperados 3 for a bit, my thoughts on the game are as follows. Even after playing for a short time, I could already tell that the game has a lot of depth and a high skill ceiling. It took every brain cell I had to control two characters at once, and later in the game you're controlling three or more. Due to the level design and game mechanics, it really felt as though there was multiple ways for me to complete a mission, and this gave me a nice feeling of freedom. It's visually good looking for an RTS. The tutorial does a great job of explaining all the mechanics. The game does a great job of presenting its narrative with voice acting throughout missions. And the game actually has a demo mode you can download first before you decide to buy the full game, which is a nice pro-consumer move that you don't see all too often these days. Some people might be put off from controlling more than one character at a time, and it definitely takes a while to get used to. And at times I felt as though the game was lacking background music and ambience in places. Overall, Desperados 3 is a high quality modern RTS that you don't really see a whole lot of these days. Throughout my time playing I found it to be thoroughly engaging and a nice challenge, but due to the multiple choices of approach you have, it doesn't feel too hard to the point where you'd just give up. You'd simply try other approaches if you got stuck. For people who are even slight fans of RTS games that may be on the fence with this one, I'd say at least download the demo and give it a shot because even for me, a complete noob at RTS games, I still found it really fun. But that's it for this video guys, let me know what you think about Desperados 3 in the comments below, and also let me know what you thought about this video in general. I obviously don't cover many RTS games, so I wonder if this was entertaining for you to watch. Shout out to THQ Nordic for sponsoring the video, and click the link in the description below to buy the game. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.